like to beg all of you your indulgence of my appearance. We've been on winter break and then snow days for what seems like months. So this is the uh, break, the not in school edition of Who, What, When, Where, Why. Today, it's about ratios and proportions. Usually I'm in my classroom, but because we've been off on break so much with winter break and with uh, snow days, today I'm doing it from my home. I'll have to ask you your indulgence at my appearance. Ratios are how we mathematically compare one thing to another. You use that everywhere all the time. Proportions are how we take a ratio and apply it to something else. Let me give you an example. If you're dealing with a photograph and it's a certain size, but maybe you're working on a yearbook and you need it to be a certain smaller size, you know it needs to go from this width down to this width. What's the height that it goes from and then to? A proportion lets you solve that. Ratios. They show how one thing compares to another. This thing is five somethings. This thing is seven somethings. Let's say it's inches and inches. Maybe you recognize that. That's a pretty standard size for a photograph. Okay. The side length of the photograph is five inches. The width of the photograph is seven inches. That's how these, the width and the length of the photograph relate to each other. Now, that's a ratio. What's a ratio good for? We put it into proportions. We create a proportion by saying that ratio is equal to something else. Now we can use that proportion that we're creating to figure out things about how we might use the photo. For example, I'm going to use it in the yearbook, but it can only be two inches wide. How tall will that photo be once it winds up in the yearbook? Seven inches wide by five inches tall for the original photo. Two inches wide by what? Well, when we don't know what something is, we use a variable. How do we find out what this variable is? The cross products property, or cross multiplying is what we call it. And you've seen it before. You've practiced it in Algebra 1 a hundred times. We can multiply across, and whatever we get across is equal to each other. 5 times 2, 5 times 2, equals 7 times x. And we can solve that. 10 equals 7x. Divide both sides by 7. And we get x equals... Uh, Round it is 1.43 inches. So this photo will be 2 inches wide by 1.43 inches tall. There are a thousand examples that we can do this way, and you use it all over in, in business, in industry, in jobs, etc. Uh, here's a kind of a goofy example. I'm making a model of a car. That's a horrible looking car, isn't it? I measure the actual car, and it is 12 feet long. And I'm making my model car at 1 24th scale. So if my original car is 12 feet long, and I want to know how, how long it will be at scale. It's going to be the same as 1 50th, my scale for this model. So how long is my car 
after I scale it down. Cross multiply. 12 times 1 is 12. 50 times x, of course, is 50. x. And what's x? I divide out to find out. Super fast mo. So x equals 0 0.24 feet, which is 2.68 inches. My model car will be only 2.68 inches wide. That's about this much. That's going to be an awfully small car. I might want to use a bigger scale. So that's using a ratio, creating a proportion, and using it to figure out how two things will relate to each other. There are some examples available on the website.